Welcome. Let's begin one of the very interesting topics in logic, and that is relations. Now, three simple relations. The first is reflexive, where we uh, understand with oneself. The second is symmetric, where we compare two things, and the third is transitive, where we try to compare A with B and B with C, and then the relation of A and C. So that's the simplest uh, simplification I could say of understanding these relations in logic. And when you have all these three that are present. that is what is known as equivalence so let's talk about these one by one pretty interesting though the first one here is the reflexive now when i say reflexive it means everything bears to itself understand it in a simple fashion that you are looking into a mirror now if i look into the mirror i am of the same size as itself so as myself i can say that ways and that's what is reflexive so if, if i take a stone that means that a stone is of the same shape as itself and that is where we understand reflexive where i say everything bears to itself which is a simple way to understand reflexive the next is irreflexive irreflexive means nothing bears to itself what does that mean nothing can be taller than itself nothing can be smaller than itself so what i am trying to do here is i am trying to put out examples to help you understand that nothing bears to itself is an irreflexive uh, logic that we are talking about a irreflexive relation the next is further more interesting which is non reflexive non reflexive means it is neither reflexive nor irreflexive so what does it stand for simply said i cannot infer that somebody loves oneself or somebody does not love oneself so that is an example of non reflexive relation that we are talking about so it's neither reflexive nor irreflexive so that's about reflexivity the next is further interesting it is symmetricity so let's say i have a ball and i have another ball that's there now i try to relate this ball i say this ball is smaller to this ball or this ball is equal to this ball both are balls so what i'm trying to bring about here is a symmetricity in relation so what is a symmetric relation i and my uh, sibling is there so i am his sibling and he is my sibling in that case what happens this is a symmetric relation but let's say i am here and my father is here so he is my father but i cannot be the father so what happens this is a non symmetric relation so simply put symmetric relation means if x be it anything is related to y then y is related to r uh, x with the same relation r as x was to y similarly y is to x which is symmetric however when i say asymmetric what does it mean asymmetric means x is related to y in certain fashion but that does not mean that y is related to x in the same fashion so that was an example where we said if my father is here i cannot be the father so if he is my father i cannot be the father the opposite relation the cross relation is not correct and that is what is asymmetrical the next is non symmetric now what does non symmetric means non symmetric means it's neither symmetric nor asymmetric similarly to a non reflexive as we have already discussed so let's say if uh i respect my teacher that does not mean that the teacher would respect me so what i am trying to draw here is a non symmetric relation and a non symmetric relation is neither symmetric nor asymmetric so that was what was symmetric relation the third relation is what is transitive relation transitive relation means if a is smaller than b b is smaller than c then i can say a is smaller than c simply put so i have a less than b b less than c so i can say a is less than c and that is what is transitive the next is 
intransitive intransitive what does it stand for intransitive means if x is related to y in certain fashion and y is related to z in certain fashion that does not mean that x is related to uh, z so i say x is related to y y is related to z but that does not mean x is related to z so let's say we are standing in a line i say i am next in line to uh, person b and person b is next in line to person x that does not mean i am next in line to him so definitely person a is next in line to him i am not next in line to him okay so it is what is intransitive then the next is non transitive what does non transitive stands for non transitive means one which is neither transitive nor intransitive so again similar to non reflexive and non symmetric what we have said it is non transitive which is neither transitive nor intransitive so what does it mean it says if i respect my teacher and my teacher respects his teacher therefore there is no logical sequence that i respect my teacher's teacher so this is a non transitive relation now as i said in the beginning simply put if i have all the three relations reflexive symmetric and transitive that takes place then we say this relation is equivalence or there is equivalence now how does it mean it means that everything is bears to itself that's the reflexive one if a is in relation to b b has the same relation to a that is symmetric relation if a is uh, has a relation to b b has a relation to c that means a has a relation to c and that is what is transitive so when you have symmetric reflexive and transitive all three of those which are seen we say this is a relation where you have equivalence so those are very very simple logic relations that are there and every time off and on you have questions on on those let's say i have one question for you one question here is uh, nothing is larger than itself okay so this is an example of this is an example of irreflexive relation similarly if i say a is uh, bigger than b b is bigger than c that means a is bigger than c this is an example of this is an example of transitive so a quick summary again reflexive as the name suggests reflection in the mirror so it's to yourself oneself itself however when i talk about symmetric there are two things that are present and when you have transitive you have three things you find out the relation between first and the second second and the third that's given and you try to find a relation between first and the third that is transitive and when all of these stand true then you have equivalence that is seen so that was the very fundamental in logics we would be talking about many interesting lectures stay subscribed have a wonderful day ahead